Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Why did you run off in such a hurry? B because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate? Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The, they're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognised one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognised? Who was it? Talk! I d don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushets and he has a limp. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushets, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. Why did you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits and he has a limp. He limps and he's from Ujits. That's not much to go on, but I suppose it'll have to do. It's all I know. I never talked to him. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Don't worry, I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light. It wasn't. Then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. I, I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started, and flames everywhere. Well, it was terrible, like hell itself. And then... It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. And he ran off with the others. I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? Then, then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. There, there might have been maybe eight of them. And two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yell. Maybe they... <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still... There was nothing you could do. That's all. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? It's all over with them. You've uh, nothing more to fear. Really? God bless you. But... 
There's just one thing. What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. I, I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it all. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. Just try, and you'll see whether they drive you away or not. But if you explain it to them, they're sure to understand. I suppose you're right. Thank you for your help, and God bless you. Well, well, look who deigns to grace us with his presence. I was looking for that boy, and... And you didn't bother telling anyone. I had to follow the trail before it went cold. And what if some bandit skewered you and left you for dead? We'd never find you, because you told no one where you were going. How would I explain that to Sir Radzi, eh? I really don't know, my lord. He disappeared without saying a word to anyone. It never crossed my mind he wanted to get himself killed. I... I... Silence! Keep your ignorant mouth shut when I'm giving you the benefit of a veteran's wisdom. You do what I tell you, answer only when I ask, and not go roaming off whenever you feel like it. I'd like to kick your arse back to the castle and be shut of you. But it's true, you're a fucking peasant who knows nothing about soldiering. And it's my job to whip you into shape, so I'm not done with you yet. God have mercy on you if you ever try anything like that again. If you're lucky, I'll only have you whipped and clapped in the stocks. Because if I get my way, you'll be hanged for desertion. I hope we've got that out of the way. I've made myself absolutely clear. And now, let's hear what you have to learn. I talked to Ginger and found out what happened. Out with it, then. Ginger fled because he recognized one of the raiders. He was afraid they'd come back to silence him. Well, he was right. They were asking about him. So who did he recognize? He didn't know his name. Some fellow with a limp from Ujits. All right. Since you've gone this far, you may as well ask around in Ujits. There's enough to do here in these parts anyway. Sir Radzik will tell you about it. He said to send you to him if you haven't already been. Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lamb. I'm sure you've noticed the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Ratai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how you deal with them. Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any case, bring me the spurs, and I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very well. I'll see to it. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp dagger. we we'll get a bit extra for each ear you bring. Isn't that a bit barbaric? Barbaric ways for barbaric times, my boy. That does make sense, I must admit. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? 
My lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. Well, in the end, I tracked down the stable boy who fled in fear of his life, and for good reason, too. He put me on the trail of a crofter from Ujit with a limp. And his name? The boy didn't know him by name, only by sight. But if I ask around, I'm sure folk will know who limps and keeps peculiar company. Villagers like to gossip. But what if he's not there? He could have fled, maybe even to Kuttenberg. If I don't find him in Ujit, I'll ask around. Someone will know something about him. All right. Better go to Ujit's then. Find this limping footpad and get the names of the others out of him. They have to face justice for what they did. I want to see them hang. Then bring him to me in Mehoyed and I'll decide on his fate. Certainly, sir. Why choose Mehoyed? It's somewhat at the centre of events, isn't it? And what's more, there's another stud farm there. Sir, do you think they're going to try the same thing again? I shouldn't think so. Everyone will be on the alert now, but the secluded dwellings are more vulnerable. There are few people in them. They're scattered everywhere and we can't guard them all. But the bandits won't find much silver in places like that. There's always a groschen or two, some food and so on. Anyway, how much silver did they get from slaughtering those horses? True. If they'd stolen them, they could have sold them. Those were fine animals. Exactly. It's not about the silver. It's about something else. But what? Creating fear. Such great terror that you won't even squeak when they come to cut your throat. Never mind raise your hand against them. Fear that will root you to the spot, staring like a rabbit entranced by a stoat, waiting for the death blow to fall. Helpless to do anything about it. I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. The trail leads to Ujits. I found out one of the bandits is from there, a fellow they call Limpy Lubos. I see. What else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. Good luck to you.